take Kevin through to the next round of the Cup, how do you look back on that game? Obviously delighted. Um, it might not quite be development, as in what we say to them beforehand, sometimes when you're playing Cup competitions, it's just about winning. Um, obviously as the DNA of the club, the boys know that that's what this, this club's all about, You know, winning games of football, but um, tonight I thought they were at times good. Um, we challenged them at half-time, we thought we made a sloppy start. I think second half showed what we're all about, the way we moved the ball around. Um, the players took ownership of that, to be fair to them. Um, I think you can only guide them at half-time, you can give them a wee jag, you can ask for higher standards, but ultimately, you know, I know it's a bit of a cliche, but the players that are on the pitch are the ones that need to take ownership of that, and um, I thought second half they were terrific at times. They obviously did go a goal behind, it's something they're maybe not too used to. Were you pleased with their reaction to that? I was actually pleased that we went to go behind because we deserved to go a goal behind. I thought Ross County were, were well set up, well organised, and you know, fair play to Liam Fontaine and you know Don Kiwi. Um Richie was there as well. So I think um, we, we expected that. We played them obviously only a couple of weeks ago, so we did get a wee insight into what, what they were all about. They, they have a, a robust centre forward that causes a wee bit of problems. Um, they do bang it down his throat at times and go and play off it, and they do it really well. Um, plus, they have really good football players at times as well. So. We don't want to be behind, do we? But but for the development of the players at times, you're, you're asking them, have you got the character to come back? Have you got the mentality to, to get yourself back in the game? Can you cope with going down in a stadium? And all due respect, you know, what, 20, 30 people here watching, so the pressure of the fans is something that our players don't really get to experience much. But a big stadium, a, a lovely pitch. Um, but the reaction to the boys was second to none, to be fair. I think to get back in the game, to score good goals, some, some real quality goals as well. Um, and like I say, into the next round, so we can we can now look forward to who we're going to get. Mm-hmm. And after half time, how pleasing was it to get that third goal so quick? Uh, just to start, but obviously I was quite critical of them at half time. Um, sometimes over critical at times. I probably need to stand back at times and um, you know not be too critical. But I, I think I'll never apologise for wanting more and, and, and having higher standards and, and keep on demanding off the players. But I thought second half at times, um, the way the way they moved the ball around. Especially our final third players, you know, Aaron Lyle, Kane, Richie Hoss, I thought were terrific on the night. Even in the first half, they were still a danger, but I thought second half especially, they were terrific. Yeah, and obviously into the next round of the Cup now, that must be pleasing for you. Yeah, we'll, we'll obviously we'll sit back now, I don't know what the results of the other teams are, but um, we'll look forward to it. Look, if we're, without sounding disrespectful at the rest, but when we're in a competition, we want to win it. Um, so the boys are in that now, they, they can sit back, we enjoy, we've obviously been up here three weeks in the bounce, haven't we? so we enjoy our last bus journey back to back to, um, back to to Edinburgh for me, obviously back to Glasgow for the boys and we'll look forward to whoever we get in the next round.